okay, you've had a shocker and you've done really badly at AS level. Now, it might be that you did your real AS exams and you got an official grade like a U or an E or something like that, or it might be that you just did some internal school exams and just did really badly. Now, again, this really depends on your situation at your school. Sometimes if you've done well in a couple of subjects and you've maybe really done badly in physics and maybe got the U grade in physics, they'll let you continue physics because that's your three A levels that you've got. You can't just drop it and go down to two A levels because that's not what you need for university. So sometimes you might be stuck doing A level physics, even though you've maybe lost a bit of motivation because you didn't do so well at the end of year 12. Sometimes you've maybe argued the case that, yeah, you didn't do that well, you didn't do much work in year 12, and now you're going to really kind of work harder so you can actually get a better grade as you go into year 13. So um, basically, this video is for the, those of you who didn't do as well as you hoped at the end of year 12. And it might be as well that you maybe got a C grade, but you're wanting an A. So is it too late? Is it all lost? Well, that really depends on you. I've seen students who just kind of coasted through year 12, they didn't step up their level of work from GCSE, and actually uh, they thought, that's fine, I'll just leave all my revision to the last minute, and then they got U's, and they thought, well, I'll do it differently in year 13, and they go into year 13, and they just do the same thing again. They're not changing the way they're working, so they're maybe leaving their homework to the last minute, they're not doing their own reading around the subject, they're not being proactive and asking for help when they've identified they don't understand something. And again, surprise, surprise, at the end of year 13, they get another U, and that's a real shame because the amount of time and effort you've put into this course. However, I do know that plenty of people who don't do that well in year 12, it's kind of a bit of a wake-up call, and they think, okay, whatever I'm doing doesn't work. But if you want to go from a U grade and you want to increase that as you go into year 13, there are certain things that you can do. First of all, don't lose confidence, because basically, even if you did get a U grade at the end of year 12, that doesn't count towards your overall grade, especially if you're in England doing A-levels. So you might have got a U grade and it's on a certificate, but if you're in England, your final grade only counts on the exams that you're doing at the end of year 13. So effectively, uh, you're not going to disadvantage yourself in that way. You're not going to be dragging the rest of your grades down because you didn't do so well in year 12. It might be a little bit different in Wales where actually it counts. Your AS grades do count, but I guess you can always do a reset. The other thing is that um, there's no point just doing what you did last year, but about the different topics. So if you found that your way of working was a bit disorganised, you didn't understand the topics at the time, then you've got to try and kind of cut some of those habits now. So get into good habits. Now that might be that you've got to be working really hard. So not only learning the new stuff for year 13, which does get complicated at times, but continually revising what you did in year 12. For example, you might be doing some topics about electric fields and the motion of charged particles in electric fields. But actually, that's really difficult in year 13 if you didn't understand projectile motion when you did it in mechanics in year 12. So in order to understand the year 13 topic, it really does build upon the kind of skills and some of the knowledge that you got from year 12. So in that case, start revising. You've got your notes, you've got textbooks, there's my videos, which are all for free on YouTube. Those things there can really help you kind of build up that kind of basic knowledge that you need to then build on. Other things that you can do uh, include spending a lot of time talking to your teachers, because teachers, we like talking about A-level physics, because it's interesting. It's not like year seven, where you're teaching biology or chemistry, and you've got all these kind of kids that just are uncontrollable, they're noisy, and you're teaching them really basic stuff. As teachers, we really like A-level physics, and that means we like talking about it. And if your teacher has seen that you've done very badly in year 12, they want to help you to do better, for two reasons. First of all, they have to, because it's their job, and it reflects badly on them. If their students are all getting U's, it puts a pressure on the teacher, because they've got to do something about it. But also, teachers are generally quite nice people, and they really want you to do the best that you can, because that means that then you get more opportunities later in life. And it is really rewarding being a teacher to help people who maybe haven't done that well to kind of improve what they're doing. So your teachers will give you plenty of advice. Sometimes that advice is to just basically go away, read your textbook, and identify the areas that you don't know about. If you come and say to your teacher in September, I don't understand projectile motion, and they say, well, which bit in particular, and you just say, I just don't understand it, that means you've not put in any effort yourself. If, however, you've read a couple of books on it, maybe a couple of different textbooks you've seen in your revision guide, you've had a go at some questions yourself, you've watched my videos or other people's videos on YouTube, if you've done all of that, you're going to start to understand it a little bit better. And that means when you go and speak to your teachers, you'll have better questions to ask them. So it might be, I don't understand part C of this question here, can you help me with that? And then it gives the teachers a lot more to help you with. But basically, 
what I'm trying to say is there's there's no one magic bullet. It might be that you've just had a shock in your personal life, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, not going out with you anymore, you're bad at driving, you failed your driving test. All of these things can affect your exam results, okay? So whatever's happened in year 12, try and put it behind you and try and get into good habits right now at the start of year 13, and you can do it. And I've seen students who've gone from a U grade and they've got a B grade at the end of A levels because they've kind of sorted out the way they're working. Some people, find it really difficult and they go from a U grade and eventually they scrape an E or a D grade at A level. But for them, you know, you've still got to pass at A level physics. It doesn't really matter if you've got a D or an E. Once you've got that pass in A level physics and it allows you get, to get on to the next stage in your career, if that's access to a foundation year at university, the kind of degree that you want to do, it doesn't really matter that actually you didn't get the grade that you wanted, even if it's maybe an E or a D, you've still got to pass at A level physics. And for lots of people, they're really, you know, absolutely rightly proud of that because they've worked really hard, they've passed A-level physics, and then they've gone on to the next stage in their life. So basically, I'm rambling now, but if you have got a U at AS level, all is not lost, but it's really down to you to change the way that you're working so you understand everything a little bit better this year, and then have the confidence that if it really doesn't go that well, you can always reset year 13 or take a gap year, do some resets. It's not the end of the world. If as well, uh, you want to help um, help yourself, I suppose, you did get a U at AS level, go to A-Level Physics Online, go to my website. It's just a one-off payment of £19.99. You can access everything, so that's another 250 videos which will help you as you're doing the Year 13 content. Uh, you don't really have anything to lose, you may as well do it, um, and that'll hopefully give you a little bit more confidence as you go through what can at times be quite a tough year. But until I speak to you again, good luck, hope it all goes well.